uh, perception on what has happened this morning. It's a video that has gone viral. Cecilia Mafo snatching microphone from Joyce Blessing and telling her to go back to her husband. And a public gathering. For me, um, this is my opinion. Um, God asked Nathan to go to David's house and to speak to him of his mind. And God is speaking to you about what somebody should do. I feel where you are standing in public, you should have done it in, 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 a, in a private way. And what happened for me, I am not happy about it. And I always say this, there are so many ways of communicating to somebody, especially when God has ministered to you, to talk to someone. And I feel this needs to be corrected. And next time, it shouldn't happen that way. Are you likely to reach out to Joyce or uh, something? Because I think at this point, she's gone through a lot. For me, I talk to her every day. Mm. And I pray with her too. Um, she's not the only one. There are a lot of people going through the same thing. And I sat with her. And I believe that God is the only one that can heal. People will talk to you. People will say they are part, but when some of the things you leave it in the hands of God, you'll be fine. Mm. I believe that she shouldn't even um, ponder so much about this. She should pray and ask God, God, this is what uh, your daughter is saying. What are you also? I, I really need to, to hear from you mm. to confirm. Because when the, a prophet speaks, you need a confirmation and that is new it is not only gospel mission it it cuts across where you see a public figure and it shouldn't be that you want to use the person to get popularity but i feel this is a wake-up call for some of that that god has called us and we hear his voice and we want to talk to somebody about what god is saying sometimes we don't have to do it so much in public you can call them and, and it will be wonderful calling them privately and praying with them that helps a lot than standing in this large um congregation and and, and talking about it it's, it's sad sometimes it brings people's spirits down the final thing i ask you do you think that uh, cecilia manfo needs to be talked to you know this is the second we are seeing the first one was with brother sami now joy's blessing you think that she needs some a conversation with people like you or people in the industry. Christian body, yeah. mm. because, you see, it becomes very, very difficult when the person is standing using the name of God to speak. I want to tell the BI, you have to say, you, 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 you tell somebody to learn advice, but I feel you get people to get close to her and to talk to her. Maybe to help. Akwaba. You yes. have also been through the terrain. Prophecy, prophecy. Mm -hmm. This is another prophecy that has come through. <laughs> Are so, you comfortable with the manner in which it came through? So like you, you said, I've been in the last year of mine came out and then um, there was this prophecy. I think it was all over the news, social media, everywhere. Um, I wasn't, in fact, happy about it because uh, I felt um, a person should have or could have called me and could have had a conversation and we would have prayed about it. So as a public figure, uh, and as a celebrity, that's a God has put up. You can't just stand in the midst of people and then uh, Yes, you've seen it. Yes, God has told you. But what you do is now, seven, seven, pick them up on As to how you, how you go about it. So um, I sincerely think that um, probably, probably, only, I'm, I'm only saying that after everything that um, Siyama saw, or said God had told her, she could have called Joyce and spoken to her that when I, whilst I was doing this or doing that, God said this and that and that. Say, may ya, and then like Ohima said, prayed with her. That would have done a lot of good than just probably if you are standing in the whole congregation and then seeing it. Uh, Do you believe, you know, and we ask, I want to be specific. Do you okay. believe, Cecilia Manfo, do you believe that truly, truly, God speaks to her? 
in the manner in which we approach things, you know. Because if you look at Brother Sami's, and then now Joy is blessing, do you think truly that God speaks to her? Um, yes. When God called her, I wasn't around. <laughs> so I can't say I don't believe in everything that she's saying. But at the end of the day, the Bible says, um, so, like I said, whatever she's saying, I can't doubt, I never doubt. If it's from God, that's from God. Whatever she said, yeah, I believe that. I'm just saying that she should have just communicated the world. Well, uh, I move away from you, uh, but okay. before I go, let's do personal stuff. Uh, did you did you have any cause to confront the minister uh, who gave you your prophecy last year? Um, it turns out to be that um, he happens to be a brother. A brother? <laughs> yeah, okay. um, um, my auntie yeah. yeah, my, uh, my stepmom actually followed up. And then I had my, my dad's, I think, aunt, or I think one of my dad's sisters called me from UK. And it was like, who didn't say I went to a neighbor? I said, I want to trust you. Wow. Hey. Ah, the man wow. the man was only to be on the And I'm like, wow, sure. I'm going to call me. And yeah. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> but was he apologetic? You know, how did he react when he was approached? No, I, I think, um, I know about him. And then, uh, name is him. Yeah. I just left it because, like I said, you don't know who I am, how prayerful I am, and how spiritual I am. So, exactly. with those things, when those things come up, you know, there are spirits out there that won't hold it and mm -hmm. make sure that it comes to pass. Mm -hmm. So, well, I had to just pray and abort every mission of the enemy, Amen. blah, blah, blah. And apart from you that, right yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Here am I, 2021. Thank you for your life. Salasin. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> well, starting with the issue of uh, Celia Mafo and Joy's blessing, people think that Joyce needs support from industry people. Mm -hmm. She's gone through so much. Yeah, she's gone through so much. What do you think uh, will happen in this case? Okay. Now that she's been openly prophesied to, you think? Mm -hmm. You see everybody in their level of faith and their strength, their yeah. inner strength as to what they can take, what can break them, and what can you know push them into depression. And these things are very unpleasant things to talk about. We are not proud to be talking about these things. However, um, I always say that, uh, Cecilia Mafo, to be honest with you, I have experienced her ministry. And I know she carried some grace from God and some anointing. She, I have personally encountered some testimonies with her ministry. And so I don't doubt who she is. But the only thing that I would advise is that she should really apply wisdom when it comes to giving some strong prophetic words to people who come to the church. Not only in the case of Joy but to every human being. Because every individual in their level of faith and what they can take. For example, if you tell somebody a person is going to die, that alone is enough to kill mm -hmm. the person in the next two days. Mm -hmm. Maybe that death would, would, could be true, could happen over a year or 10 years, but because of the fear and the panic, the thought of it alone, you know, can kill the person faster. And so I advise that with said prophetic words, um, it should be communicated in private, so that, and, and prayerfully, most, Im most importantly, prayerfully, yeah. because everybody going through things like divorce and stuff really needs prayer support. And, and and love, you know, people who are there for her, people who are sure her, they are praying with her. That's what such a person needs. I'm a woman, and I feel I feel the embarrassment and the pain, you know. And so we respect the oil on Cecilia Mafu's life, but please, when it comes to some of such prophecies, it should be done in a lot of wisdom and prayer, so that it doesn't look like she is doing it to get attention for her ministry. Because it's beginning to look like that. It happened in the case of brothers, I mean, and then this time too. So, yes, Anna, as I may have no cry, no I the attention is off that and it's, you know, going on other direction. And I, I advise musicians to that there are certain things you can do and put in place to ensure that no prophecy about you comes publicly. And my manager and I, we do that. Before we are invited to a program, 
if it's a prophet, because sometimes they are the ones who are a bit careless. If it's a prophet, my husband communicates to them that if we come to your service and you think you have a prophetic word for Celestine, please make sure that you call her separately and tell her. If we come to your program and if we want to lay hands on Celestine, please, she has a lot of hands laid on her. She doesn't want any laying of hands. Mm. We communicate that, yes. Because you end up, musician, we, we attend so many churches. And because of, we need to go and minister. You end up holding so many hands touching your head and pour all sort of unknown <laughs> anointing on you. You know, so we make sure that we communicate this thing before we even come to minister. And there are some places where we go that the prophets think is on your God. Until you go ahead and do it. My, my manager will walk to you on the stage. Wow. Yeah, and tell you that, please, we don't need this. If you have a word, let's do it in private. So I advise my colleagues that, about you. So when you are also working, work prepared and organize your, your team to do some of this work so that these things don't happen. Because mm. I think the management of Joyce Blessing has every right to stop that prophetic work from being declared public. And then all we wouldn't have been facing all this. Unfortunately. Yeah. Mm. So we on our part we can make sure it happened. On the part of these prophets too, we beg them that if they have any prophetic word, especially for people who work in the public eye, they should please do it in private to really, really help. How are we going to help uh, uh, Joyce now? Now she's been humiliated, she's become the talk. Uh, uh, Ohima said she speaks to her on a daily basis. Ohima, have you, have you reached out to her already? I, I think this morning I was trying to call her, but the, her phone was so busy. Mm. Probably in the evening I'll do yeah. call her. I saw the post, the video on my way here. Mm. Uh, I saw it. And I mean, I called Joyce too, and I give her my calling and pray with her in my little way I can. Mm. Uh, but what we have said here is a way of throwing our support behind her. Yeah. 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 And I think the further things we do in private, we will also do. This is the last one. It's going to, going to you on Ahima. Yes, I'm with the Aware Tram Home Poor. They said the gospel musicians. Yes, uh, when anything happens to one person, the other person will go on social media and go and, you know, do Kasanchi. Shade the other person and say, uh huh. You know, like uh, you, gospel musician. Why da 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 You know? Hey, hmm. this one there is news, news to Oh, you're serious? Honestly. So when you hear that one person is going through marital challenge and that person doesn't want to share with you, say, uh-huh, you know, because I've even, Gifty even made a testimony, I think she said something like that, that when she was going through her divorce, her colleague musicians were mocking her and all of that. My dear, it may mean, yes, sir, and I but any other for fun. There are people in this life who will be a share your money, your celebration, you are here, and yet, and you know, and some people when you are going down, they are 